Well, I wasn't aware that we needed it, but here we are, proof positive that 1970s horror can work in the 21st century very well. Halloween. So in Halloween 2018, it's been 40 years since the events of Halloween 1978, and in that time, Laurie Strode, Michael Myers' sister, has been preparing, praying, wishing for the day that Michael would escape. And now we're here, and he is hungry, he's a hunting. I want to get some positives out of the way immediately. I love the way that this movie was shot. How many times in a row am I going to praise cinematography in a movie? It feels like it doesn't even count anymore, but there are some long shots, some tracking shots, some some long takes that I love. Like, the camera will be fixed, and then you get to see Michael progressing through the scene, and it's like, I, I love that. Actual care went into this movie, and it turns out John Carpenter's involved. Could have something to do with why. I also love the gore in this movie. This movie is full aware of how ridiculous it can be at some times. So the way that... There are very creative ways to present a dead body, apparently. I didn't know, but watching this movie, you learn some ideas, I guess. This movie is also very brutal. Like, when people die, you feel the impact. You feel the pain for just the splittest of seconds of what they're going through on screen. It's like, yeah, that's rough. You didn't even deserve that. I'm so sorry. This movie touts itself as being and absolutely is a love letter to classic 1970s horror, and it works so well, but the thing is, with being a love letter to classic horror, there's a lot of classic horror tropes that end up happening in here. Some very bad decisions on some characters' parts, some people are absolute idiots, and it gets them killed, and it's like, well, you deserve that. Why'd you run into the woods? And on top of that, this movie actually has a couple different twists and turns. Like, you're, you're seeing it, and it's like, well, this is just a slasher movie, I know exactly what's gonna happen. And you're right in some aspects, but completely wrong in others, and it's like, oh, sure, prove me wrong. Surprise me. I welcome it. I also love the angle that they went with Laurie Strode because she's been practicing killing this man for 40 years. She's been preparing for the day that he returned. And she is like Sarah Connor levels of shoot a man in the face. It's, it's actually very impressive. I wonder who would win between her and Sarah. Somebody make that, please. Show me. I, want to see. I also want to talk about the score, which feels like cheating because the Halloween theme is very well established at this point. It's just the do-do-do-do-do-do, the one that you heard in the intro. But it's like... It's been tweaked a little bit to fit whatever scene is playing, and it it works very well, especially with a, a modern 21st century twist on it. It all works really well, and it's bone-chilling, dude. Like, it puts you on edge pretty much every time you hear it. I don't think it deserves the credit for it, but I'm giving it to it. I don't care. And the guy in the trailer that you saw, like, holding out the mask to Michael, turns out he, he and his female companion do a podcast. So this movie takes place in what we can actually see as a real 2018. People do podcasts. People are very successful off their podcasts. It's just the world we live in now. I like that time has moved forward into a real world. Guys, in the end, I could gush about this movie till the cows come home, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the rating system so I can get out of here and you guys can get out of here too because I'm tired of looking at you. Halloween 2018 is definitely worth buying on Blu-ray. I will be and I'll be watching it every Halloween until Halloween 2058 comes out. Spoiler alert, Laurie Strode is dead at that point because she she's just that old. But what is your favorite horror movie, slasher flick, whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below and educate me. And as always, if you want more videos, click this entire screen. And I will see you next time I upload. <laughs>